Take their bad habit, make it disappear. This is a cool way to take a coin and make it vanish. That was crazy. Effectively trapping the coin. Have them sign the front. Whoa, I was holding it the whole time. Watch. This is one of my favorite tricks. Coke, put it down inside the brown paper bag. It vanished. What's good? Welcome back to How to Magic. Oh, magic. I am your host, Evan Era. Today I'm showing you how to make something disappear. My name, it's vanished. So if you're ready to learn the amazing secrets behind these tricks, hit the thumbs up button and let's go. Here's an impossible way to make a cup of coffee disappear. Check it out. Okay, so I have a cup of coffee here. Let's see, very Let's see. cool. Kind of hot. <laughs> okay, why did you touch it? Okay, so Coffee's you can see it Coffee's usually hot, there. ladies and gentlemen. Watch. I'll take the lid. I'm about to reveal a secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple and I'll teach you how it's done right now. Okay, here's what you're gonna need. You're going to need some sponges. You can pick these up at a store, pack of four or five or six for a super cheap. The next thing you're going to need is some scissors. And then you're going to need a cup of coffee. Now it's best to let the coffee cool because working with hot coffee can be kind of dangerous. The next thing you're going to need is a paper plate. So you're gonna start by dumping the coffee out of the coffee cup, but you wanna save it. Now you're gonna take your paper plate and you're going to sit the coffee cup on top of it just like this. Take a pen or a marker and it's gonna lightly trace around the edge just like that. So you get a rough idea of how big the cup is. Now we're gonna cut this out. Take your scissors, kinda trim this out of the plate, and then we can get a bit more precise. Now we actually wanna cut inside this line. We don't want this to be exactly as big as the cup. We just want that line there to give us a rough idea of how big the cup is. Cause this disc is actually going to sit down inside the cup. We're just gonna continue cutting this out. So you want that disc to fit down inside the lid of the cup, just like this. So that's our first step, is fitting our cut piece of the plate into the top of the cup, just like this, okay? And you wanna get it as close to sealed as you possibly can. Now your next step is to cut out your sponges. I'm just gonna cut them roughly into a circle because we need them to fit in the bottom of the cup. And this is what is going to make our coffee actually look like it's disappearing so that when the coffee falls down into the sponges, it's absorbed. So once we've got the sponges cut out, they're going to go down in the cup. Next step, take your cut out piece of the plate, sit it right down in there, perfect. Now, I'm going to take some of your coffee and pour it right here in the top of the lid. Now it looks like we have a full cup of coffee. And now you might be able to see a little bit of white through the coffee. It might not look as opaque because this room is so well lit for filming. In a little bit lower light conditions, this looks totally convincing. So this is your setup. Totally looks convincing like this is a full cup of coffee. Kind of hot, you can even like dip your finger in it. Really convincing illusion here that you have a full cup. And now all you have to do to make the coffee inside disappear is squeeze the the top so that the coffee then runs down inside the cup and absorbs into the sponge. So as I squeeze the sides like this, you can see the coffee is just gonna spill right down inside. And now it's going to absorb down into the sponges. So you might need to experiment with the amount of sponge you have in the cup to absorb the amount of coffee that you have. If it's not all the way absorbing into the first couple pieces of sponges that you put in, you can take the extra scraps and add them to the cup so that you can make sure that it's all absorbed. So the coffee absorbs into the sponges, you can then turn the cup upside down. Obviously I do this with the lid on so that they don't see the coffee spill down into the cup. You just kind of hold it like this and you're gonna squeeze like that. The coffee's gonna spill down and then you're just gonna crush the entire cup as you turn it upside down. Now the whole turning it upside down thing is what really convinces people that it's empty because if there were coffee in it, it would obviously be spilling out at an alarming rate. So you're gonna take the cup of coffee. It's kind of hot. Put the lid on just like this. All I have to do is kind of squeeze it like this. Then you can toss it away and it looks like the cup of coffee, the coffee inside is just completely vanished. And that is how you do the magic disappearing cup of coffee. Okay, here's a way to make something disappear in the spectator's hand. Check it out. Okay, cool coin trick to show you. First things first, I need a coin. Do you have one? Any coin? Any coin, yes. Perfect. Order. 
All right, now I do magic, so it might be kind of easy for me to make this coin disappear, right? Yes. But it would be harder if I couldn't touch it, right? So I have something here in my pocket that we're gonna use. I have this little plastic enclosure that we can okay. trap the coin inside. Okay. We're gonna take your coin here and we're going to trap it inside. I also have four rubber bands there. If you will, hold the rubber bands. Okay. And kind of check those out, make sure they're normal. So we're gonna take the coin and we're going to enclose it inside with these two little pieces of film like this. Okay, and then put the rubber bands and then the rubber bands are going to go around it correct right there on the other side and then we'll do the same thing over here effectively trapping the coin inside <laughs> yes. so that there's no way that i can touch it right yeah so now it'll be a lot harder to make it disappear correct very much so <laughs> yeah so now i have a little uh handkerchief okay a little silk scarf here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the coin underneath the scarf Okay. And uh, I'm going to have you hold it here in a second with both hands, uh, just wrap around the whole thing, okay? Okay. Squeeze tight. Hold it over. Yep, just like that. Okay, uh, now kind of just give it a shake back and forth and you can kind of feel it happen. If you open it up, <laughs> let's check it out. It's... <gasps> <laughs> wow, I was holding it the whole time. What? How? Like, I'm, yeah, it's empty. I was holding it the whole time. How did you do that? That's crazy. Yeah, that was can't slide out, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> like, I'm, yeah, how did right. you do that? How did you do that? All right, here's the secret behind this amazing magic trick. All right, this trick is super easy to do and the secret is absolutely genius. So I'm giving this away at the end of the video to one lucky comment, so stay tuned to the very end. You wanna win some cool magic tricks. So this comes with four little rubber bands. It comes with these two little pieces of plastic film. Then it comes with this little plastic square with a circle cut out inside. The last thing it comes with is this little silk scarf. And then you're going to need a coin, which you can borrow from your spectator. So first things first, you're going to take a piece of the plastic film, set the plastic square on top. The coin then goes there. Other plastic film goes on top of that. Now you can do all of this in front of the spectator. After you borrow their coin, you assemble this entire thing. So you're just gonna put the rubber bands right on like that, and they can help you with this process. There's nothing tricky going on here. The little plastic pieces of film have little notches cut in them that the rubber bands will fit in just like that. It kind of locks the coin right inside there. So they can handle this, they can check it out. They can see on the sides there are no cuts or slits. The coin really is trapped inside there. You can look on the front, the back, shake it around. It's not gonna come out. A great pattern that I like to use for this is to say, now that we've got the coin inside here, there's absolutely no way I can touch it. So it makes it a lot harder to make it disappear. This is a great trick to do after you've already done a couple other vanishes. So you can't touch the coin, it makes it a lot harder to do the disappearance. But you're actually going to do this in the spectator's hand. So at this point, you're now going to bring out your little red handkerchief from your pocket. You're going to drape it over the coin and you're gonna pinch right here. You're gonna grab the whole thing like this. And what you're gonna do is squeeze it so that the sides open up. So little pieces of plastic film just pop up just like that. And what's gonna happen is the coin is gonna fall right out of the back of it. So here's a cutaway view. You squeeze and the coin just pops right out. So you've put the handkerchief over, you're gonna squeeze, and the coin's gonna fall right out into your hand just there. Now you're going to turn your hand down and palm this coin to hide it from your spectator's view. So you're there, you're then gonna continue to wrap the little box up in the handkerchief. Now you've got it wrapped up, the spectator's still convinced that the coin is inside. You can then hand this to them, tell them to wrap their hands around it, hold it tight, squeeze, and while their attention is misdirected there, you can ditch this coin into your pocket. Now all the work is done. They unwrap this, and the coin is magically vanished from inside the square. They can unwrap it, they can take the bands off themselves. There's absolutely no secret to find in here. No cuts or slits or holes or gimmicks or gaffs or gizmos or gadgets. And that is how you do the magic disappearing coin in the handkerchief. Here's another cool way to make something disappear right in front of your spectator's eyes. Okay, watch, I'm gonna take the glass bottle of Coke, put it down inside the brown paper bag. Want to know the secret? Here's how it's done. Okay, here is the secret to the magic disappearing glass bottle of Coke. This is not really a glass bottle of Coke. It's a super cool rubber bottle. So you can take the bottle and just crush it like this, kind of looks cool. You can use it for a prank and make somebody think you're throwing a glass bottle at them. Mexican Coke. But my favorite thing to do with it is a really cool vanishing trick. You take the glass bottle of Coke, put it in a brown paper bag. This is a normal brown paper bag. It goes down inside the bag like this. And then all you have to do 
is crush the bag. And everyone's convinced that the bottle of Coke has just magically disappeared. It's actually still crunched up inside the bag right here. Just toss the bag aside. So it's actually got a real bottle cap on it, but the rest of it is made from rubber. So no matter how much you crush the bottle, it will always spring back to its original form. Super fun. So it's actually just painted to look like liquid inside of it. The cap is real, but the top of the bottle is completely rubber. Now everybody recognizes a bottle of Coke, so you can do this trick pretty much anywhere. You can even do an appearing bottle trick trick like have your wallet just reach inside pull out a bottle of coke so you can set that up really easily you can actually just roll this up like that and tuck it inside your wallet like this and kind of close it up you just want to make sure the broad side is facing your audience and you can kind of open up your billfold open up your wallet bottle of coke out. It's a magic vanishing trick that's fun for all ages and super easy to do. Stay tuned until the end of the video. I'm giving away this soft bottle of coke to one lucky viewer. And that is how you make a bottle of soda disappear. This is a way to make something disappear that you should never do. Check it out. Okay, V, I have a cigarette here and everyone knows that smoking is a horrible, horrible, horrible. habit. You should never start. It's really bad it's for your health. Thing. I don't smoke. You don't smoke. Yes. You should never smoke. Don't even try it. It's seriously really So we're going horrible. to get rid of this cigarette, but we're going to do it in a magical way. We're going to make it vanish. Yes. We're going to make it dis disappear, yes. okay? You ready? Yes. We're going to do it in kind of a weird Goodbye. way, though. Watch. No, 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 no. <laughs> Why would you do that? That is not what I... You made it disappear. Yeah, but that's not what I meant. <laughs> No. <laughs> Here's the secret to the magic cigarette up the nose trick. Quick explanation to the cigarette trick. This is not a real cigarette. This is actually just a piece of plastic tubing that has another piece of plastic wrapped around it that can slide back and forth. This is what creates the illusion of the cigarette sliding up your nose. Now the second part of the secret is right here. This is a stretchy piece of elastic that actually runs up your sleeve and is attached inside of your coat. Let me show you. So we've got one of our Laugh at Life hoodies here. I'm gonna show you how this attaches inside of it. So you would take this and it runs up the sleeve and out right here and then on the other end of the piece of elastic is a little safety pin. And we're gonna pin this inside the lining of the coat. Right on this seam would be a good place. Pin it right there. Now this is going to act as an anchor point for our elastic pull. So that elastic band is going to provide the tension that we need so that when we let go of the cigarette, it looks like it's sliding up our nose and then it'll just pop right back up your sleeve thanks to the elastic band. You can also use this for a cool vanish just in your hand. Take their bad habit, make it disappear. You're simply gonna have the elastic band running up your sleeve like this, hold it at your fingertips, and let go. I'm also giving this away to one lucky comment at the end of the video, but you're probably gonna have to have a parent's permission for this one, even though it's a fake cigarette. Still need to verify that it'd be cool with mom and dad if you're under 18. But stay tuned if you wanna win this cool trick, I am giving it away to one lucky person. And that is how you do the magic disappearing cigarette trick. Here's a simple way to make something disappear that you can learn at home in just a couple seconds. Check it out. Okay, watch, I have a cool coin trick to show you. All you have to do is follow the coin right here. So we take it in this hand, take it in this hand, here, I'm just gonna hold it like this and squeeze. And if I just rub it a little bit, right here, it'll disappear. Just like that. I'll show you the secret of how it's done right now. Here's the simple secret behind this vanishing act. So this is a cool way to take a coin and make it vanish. You want to take the coin and place it in the palm of your hand just like that. Now you want to get them used to the motion of you passing the coin back and forth from hand to hand like this. Because on the last time that you do it, you're going to take it into this hand and make it disappear. You're actually keeping the coin right over here. You're retaining it in this hand. That's why it's called a retention vanish. So it's really easy to do. You're just going to let the coin get caught right there in the folds of your palm. And you're going to have to work to find the proper size coin that works best with your hand because everyone's hand is slightly different. So all I'm doing is bringing this hand over in that same motion as if I were dumping the coin into my hand. You want it to look like like you're actually putting it in your hand. You want there to be no difference in when you really do it and when you act like you do it. So practice until they look exactly the same. And that is the secret of a retention vanish. Here's how to make something disappear and then end up in an impossible place. Check it out. Okay, I have another cool vanishing trick to show you. I'm gonna make something disappear. I just need something to make disappear. Do you have, uh, do you have that quarter on you from earlier? Perfect. You said that? 
little US quarter action here. Yeah, I'm actually gonna have you sign the front of the coin. Uh, let's see, do we have a marker? Perfect, all right. Uh, I'm actually just gonna have you sign both sides of it, put your initials on it, I was or say, we'll draw to something on it. You obviously can't do oh, the whole okay. signature, but uh, like put your initials on it. All right, coin all signed. Good. <laughs> yeah, okay. I changed it. All right, so now this coin is 100% unique, definitely different than any other coin in the world, correct? Yeah. There's your signature on it. So you would know it if you saw this coin again, right? Yes. Now watch, I'm gonna take it right here in this hand. Now put out your hands just below mine. Okay. Just like that, okay. Now, uh, if I hold the coin like this, I'm gonna squeeze, watch. <laughs> Disappears just like that. I always think I'm watching. Now watch, no sleeves, anything like that. Yeah, no. The okay. coolest thing is actually where the coin goes. It actually okay. jumps all the way to my pocket. <laughs> and if you believe it, I actually have this little capsule right here. This rubber banded shut. I thought it was just See it? Yes, that's very... Now, if you would remove the rubber bands from the capsule for me. Oh. See, so, yeah, there's two yeah. on the outside. And it's handed to me. All right. And open that up. <laughs> <laughs> I was like... There's another one. Okay. <clears throat> so inside the larger one, there's a smaller one. Okay. The little flying saucer. Yes. Um, so inside this capsule, uh, as you can see, this one is rubber banded shut too. Two rubber bands on there. Yes. If you would remove the rubber bands from that one as well. <laughs> let the camera get you doing that. There you go. All right, thank you. One and... Two, two. yes. All right. Remove the top. <laughs> As you I'm see, gonna there's, freak out. <laughs> there's a little tiny bag. You you take it out. You take it out. I don't want to touch it. I don't even. So take the rubber band off the top and dump that out of your hand. No Make sure way! The <laughs> that is crazy. I've seen you. I've seen you do a lot. That was three. You saw that. That was crazy. That is okay. Yeah. That's exactly. <laughs> I can't even believe it. Crazy, right? Look, I don't even believe that. I thought it was, I, how did you get that in there? Like, even if you know how part of it works. Even, even like, moments of us talking, like even if you could have just, there's no way you've been able to tie it up in your pocket. Right. I am too confused. <laughs> this one has got me. This has got one. me. Like how would you get it in a little baggie? Like that got me. I always try to like figure it out, like bef you know, just little as we. I am so shocked right now. I don't even know. I do. I don't know. Is it? Sp I don't. The thing that's getting me is the baggie. How would you get it in the baggie? Like it's possible that I could have slipped it in. Yeah. The... Like, well, not really, because I mean, I get it, but I would have heard the coin. Right. So that means the bag. I just don't get how you got it all and then tied it up. I'm excited to see that reveal. The secret behind this one is simple and easy. Check it out. Okay, here are the props you need. And stay tuned to the end. This is also a giveaway item. This is one of my favorite tricks that I've found in a long time. Super amazing. It absolutely blows people away. So the setup is really cool too. It's almost as cool as the trick itself. This little bag that the coin ends up in at the end has no cuts or holes. It has a little opening at the top. And this is actually what makes the trick possible. The bag slides on it like this. One of the five rubber bands that come with the trick goes on just like this wrapped around the top and kind of slide it all the way down to the bottom this goes inside first little capsule just like that rubber bands go on either side and as you can see it's got little grooves cut in them it's for the rubber bands to sit in just like that so now this one is banded up and as you can see our little coin carrier our little coin chute going right down inside there and the bag is locked inside this bottom capsule now we're going to place it inside our bigger capsule and you want to make sure you're lining it up inside where the rubber bands go so that the coin can still be fed through just like this now you're set up and good to go so this is going to be set up inside your pocket as you can see it has a little clip right here this whole thing is going to go down inside your pocket like this and that clip is going to clip on the outside of your pants just like that now this set up can be worn as long as you need it to until you perform the trick. Now you're going to borrow a coin from the spectator. I really think it's a great idea to borrow the coin from somebody and have them sign it with their initials on the front and back. The reason you have them sign the coin is because you could just use a duplicate. It could be a duplicate quarter inside the capsule. Once you have them sign the coin and then it ends up inside the bag, inside the two capsules, it really just blows people's minds because it's the same signed coin that they saw in your hands just a moment ago. You're gonna use your same retention vanish that we just learned to make the coin disappear. So they're gonna sign the coin. We'll put a little LAL on here. You wanna have them do it on both sides of the coin. Have them sign the front 
and the back. So now that they've signed the coin, you're going to do your retention vanish. Take the coin and make it disappear. Now while they're focused over here on this hand, you're going to be taking the coin that you've retained in this hand and slipping it into the capsule. So while their attention is on the other hand, you're just gonna slip the coin right there. It's gonna fall down into the coin chute, and all you're gonna do is push the capsule down. It's gonna slide down into your pocket just like that. So now once the coin has vanished, you can reach in and pull the capsule out and hand it to a spectator to examine. Now what happens is the coin slides down into the chute, it passes through both the capsules and into the bag and when you pull it out you can have them undo this and open it up it's kind of a funny moment when they open the first one and realize that there's a smaller one inside take these rubber bands off and then inside of that the coin is actually inside a rubber banded at the top little bag and it is their signed coin super mind-blowing the way the bag at the end works which I think is kind of the most amazing part of this it's what really fools people about the trick is it being inside the little sealed up bag so it's rubber banded like this and it's inside this capsule. The coin goes in, slides down into the bag, and then as you pull this out, the bag just automatically bands itself like this, and the coin is trapped inside. So smart, such a cool trick, ingenious secret. Stay tuned until the end of the video if you wanna win this so that you can perform this cool trick at home. And that is how you do the magic coin to the capsule trick. Here's a super magical way to make a card disappear. Take a look. Okay, watch the card. The secret to this one is a lot more simple than you might think. Here's an explanation of how it's done. Okay, there are four things you're going to need for this trick. The first is a card. The second is some flash paper. The third is some flash cotton. And the fourth is this. It's called a little finger flasher. You can wear this inside your hand and it's got a strike wheel like a lighter. Now what you use this for is to ignite flash cotton or flash paper. We're actually gonna do both. This is how we're gonna create our fireball. We're gonna take a little bit of flash cotton that's gonna get stuffed down inside our finger flash just like that so that when we flick it it'll make a little fireball now what that flash cotton is gonna do is it's going to propel out our ball of flash paper and stuff that down inside now we're gonna take a piece of flash paper about an inch by an inch a little smaller and wad that up into a ball now what wadding the flash paper up into a ball is going to do is make it last longer and look like a fireball streaking through the air as opposed to how flash paper normally burns now if you don't know what flash paper or flash cotton are let me explain real quick they're just normal paper they're tissue paper and cotton that have been soaked in a flammable liquid and then dried so that when you ignite them, they just disappear. So now that we have our cotton loaded into the finger flasher, we're gonna load the paper ball in right on top of that. So now this is how we create the fireball. So there's two steps to this. The first step's the fireball. Also stay tuned, I'm giving this away. And then the second part is to vanish the card. And I've taught this before, it's a simple back palm. You're gonna hold the card like this between your fingers. That's pinched between your index finger and your pinky. You're gonna hold it just like that. Kind of bend the card a bit. You're gonna hold it like this with your thumb. All you have to do is extend your fingers out and the card will vanish behind your hand. It's hidden, just there. So here, vanish. Now all you're going to do is combine that back palm vanish with the fireball. So at the same time that you deploy the fireball, you're going to vanish the card to where it looks like the fireball makes the card disappear. Super visual, super cool, and super easy to do, but it is a bit dangerous. So if you are a kid and you win this in the giveaway, be careful and you're going to have to get an adult's permission. And that is how you do the magic fireball trick. All right, guys, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button for me and share it with a friend who you think might like it. Also, be sure to head over to evanerratv.com. That is my online shop. There's a link in the description of the video. We have a lot of cool magic tricks available and new products products being added every week. Again, check out that link in the description, pick up some merch and support the channel. All right guys, it is giveaway time. I'm giving away all the magic props from this video to you. All you have to do to be eligible to win the giveaway is give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment in the comment section below and be subscribed to the channel. It's really easy to create an account on YouTube. It's free to sign up and you get to subscribe to all the channels that you know and love. So create an account, subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up and leave your comments down below in the comment section. I'll pick random comments from the comment section and I'll mail you out these cool magic tricks so that you can do the vanishing acts at home. Alright guys, it's time to announce the giveaway winners from our last how-to magic video. The winners are these names right here. Send me a message on YouTube, a private message with your full mailing address to claim your prize. Thank you to everyone who entered the giveaway and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway drawing. Be sure to hit the thumbs up and leave your comments below. You can check out another one of our videos right over there. Subscribe to the channel there if you're new. Check out the shop right down there, grab some merch. Check out our vlog channel, we're posting a lot of cool vlogs. And until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.